This leg of the journey, we leave uh, the mountains of Colorado, Ure, um, which is pretty spectacular. And then as we head uh, north uh, through Colorado, we go through lots of different terrain. Uh, we did a lot of the back roads on this stretch, and you can see the land changes uh, away from the mountains to the flat, more arid sort of a lands. And, and then you start to sort of come into um, canyon sort of area again and so soon um, we were sort of uh, back along the Colorado River which uh, we followed right back down um, at the east side of California all the way through the canyon, uh, Grand Canyon um, and then up into Colorado itself um, and we're just about to rejoin it here so it's um, Pretty, uh, it's pretty cool to see, keep sort of following that river as we uh, as we travel up through the center of uh, USA. Reminds me of a car racing game, you know, when you're... Uh, pretty awesome drive, isn't it? Imagine how much this road would cost to put through. was a, a dentist, a gambler and a gunslinger but he was only actually ever good at two of those things so he's not really known for his de dentistry work unfortunately. Um, he was uh, part of uh, Wyatt Earp's uh, crew, he was deputised by Wyatt Earp and was involved in some of the sort of famous western um, historical sort of events, a uh, gunfight at um, OK Corral and it was only a little um, one room museum underneath a western wear shop actually but it was pretty cool and uh, I had everything laid out and there was um, nice little sort of movies and things like that going on at the same time. It was worth a visit. Here's a bit more of the Colorado River and, and there was white water rafting happening uh, along the side of the road. As we were driving through here, it was, uh, it was pretty good to watch. Uh, the Yanks just have this amazing ability to build these roads through anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a huge bridge over a bay in uh, Florida or uh, over the top of a mountain or, or through a, a canyon. Um, it's like no problems, we can do that and away they go and, and you end up with these 
uh, just fantastic motorways around the country. I don't know if I'd want to end up in the water though. <laughs> I reckon it'd be a bit cold. Might get splashed if I didn't end up in the water. Turn right onto Colorado 131 North. There's a frontier prison. This prison was sort of started construction in 1890s and, and opened up in like 1901 or something like that. Um, pretty interesting place to go and look at. Um, the, you can go through all the cells. Um, they did have um, some gallows and a gas chamber and stuff at the back that we uh, haven't sort of taken any photos and stuff on. But it was a pretty tough place and. Um, certainly in the early days when they they sort of get um, well below freezing temperatures, there was no heating or hot water or any of that sort of stuff. Um, and the story goes that uh, they built a new wing at one stage there and the new wing had heating, um, but they also put the max um, sort of guard prison part in that new section as well too. So. All the uh, prisoners were starting to misbehave just so they could get put into the the, um, the max centre instead of the cold uh, normal settings. The art in this section was done by a one-armed prisoner and uh, it's, it's sort of mind-blowing. Wherever you stand in the mess, you, these uh, mountain goats are, are looking at you. If you move to the left, their heads are facing, looking at you. If you move to the right, their heads are facing, looking at you. 
and the story by the artists or the, the hidden men is they're always watching um, and he had another painting that was very similar with train tracks uh, and wherever you stood in the room uh, you're on the same side of the, the tracks when you look at the art and his message there was stay on the right side of the tracks. I never really know what's going on and even when you're next to me I feel The next spectacular section of road that we, uh, we travelled on was um, called Wind River Canyon and the Wind River sort of flows through the mountains. It's an area of uh, sort of cultural significance to the Native Americans uh, and just, you know, again, wow, as you drive through here, you're, you're following the river, you're going through sort of tunnels uh, cut into the uh, walls of the canyon. There's a railway line sort of running down through um, the canyon as well and just a, a really beautiful uh, drive. Beautiful. 